Once a beautiful land, Inotria fell under the dark shadow of the Canovaccio curse, transforming its people into mere husks of their former selves. As the force of change, a unique character untouched by this curse, players embark on a quest to confront the malevolent forces responsible for this plight. Your mission is to break the curse and restore harmony to Inotria, reclaiming its former glory. Let's dive into the world of Inotria in this exhilarating gameplay video showcasing the highly anticipated soul-like RPG set to dominate 2024. Join me as I explore the stunning landscapes, the innovative combat mechanics, the unique features, and the intricate lore that this game has to offer. Witness the breathtaking art style and immersive soundtrack that elevate the gaming experience to new heights. Whether you're a seasoned Souls-like veteran or new to the genre, this showcase will give you a taste of what to expect from this next big title in the gaming world. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more content on upcoming games. Inotria The Last Song is a souls-like set in a beautiful, sunlit world inspired by Italian folklore where the brightest sun casts the darkest shadow. It will take you on an awe-inspiring theatrical adventure through multiple regions from the picturesque city of Quinta, through the sun-soaked shores of Falesia Magna, 
in the mysterious passageways of the Venetian-inspired Letunia, and more. The story is inspired by Comedia dell'arte, an early form of professional theater, and many familiar characters will make an appearance. Every painting, weapon, outfit, or area can be traced to a real-world equivalent, bringing forth an unparalleled level of authenticity in representing Italy. It is more than sunshine and picturesque landscapes that separates Inaltria from other games in the genre. We have made great strides in creating a highly flexible, push-forward combat, our innovative loadouts, combined with a deep RPG system, making experimentation easier than ever before, alongside greater systemic world interactions through hazards and rifts. The world has been gripped by the Canavaccio. You, maskless one, are the only one without a given role and master of your destiny. Defeat the fearsome authors that created it and free the world from stagnation by harnessing the power of Ardore. But is Ardore, you might ask? It is change manifest, the power to alter reality itself. It was first discovered by Pochinella, who legend says wrote a song about a fictional bird that grew to such renown that he one day saw it perched atop a branch. He has now taught you how to recognize the spots where the world is susceptible to alteration, as well as how to channel the very essence of your enemies. How you wield it is up to you. The Canovaccio has brought about an age of stagnation. The world and all within it are stuck perpetually playing out their assigned roles in a script that grows ever more twisted. A world that was once lavish and beautiful now finds itself decaying inexorably, hence the term wasted beauty. Blacksmiths pummel anvils into the earth, as farmers till soil long since dead. Not even death is an escape from this cruelest of fates. On your adventures you encounter a wide array of colorful characters, from the humble to the divine. Pochinella, your creator and mentor, will join you at every step to rescue the world. Together you will face both fresh takes on characters from Comedia dell'arte, such as Capitan Spaventa, Pantalone, Balanzone, and more, as well as old gods, fallen from grace, forsaken foes, or aspiring allies. Only time will tell. Do not be fooled by Anotria's dazzling landscapes and flamboyant characters, however. It is first and foremost a gameplay-driven title. We have put great effort into ensuring the title hits the mark on all the fundamentals of the genre. This begins with weapons, where we have put tremendous care to ensure they all have satisfying and varied movesets. Mighty blows come in every flavor of Carnage, with over 120 weapons across 8 distinct weapon classes and countless unique and creative appearances. We strongly believe fun is at the heart of a good game. That's why we've chosen to focus on a push-forward combat approach with fast and responsive dodge rolls and quick steps. There are no giant shields to cower behind. Instead, you are emboldened with our chainable parry system alongside multiple modifiers. Gone is the passive waiting for long enemy attack chains to be over. The only limit is your skill and creativity. To reward relentless players who can masterfully chain together actions, we have created the Unraveling system. It is a special status that can be built up by chaining offensive actions on enemies and if filled, will bring them to their knees. Once an enemy has been unraveled, a powerful repost attack can be executed. Doing so grants you the Awakened State, a powerful temporary buff that can be modified by your gear and emboldens you to jump straight into the next fight. Beneath this solid base layer, however, we've introduced a plethora of new RPG mechanics that we believe will dramatically change how players approach encounters. A key focus of Inotria is making build experimentation more fun, accessible, and convenient. As hardcore players, we know that it can be one of the most rewarding experiences, however, it is sadly usually burdened by respec, unreliability, and as such, done using guides, on repeat playthroughs, or only by the hardcore. In Inotria, you don't have to wait to have fun. With our systems, you can have your safe build right alongside your experimental one for the very first time in the genre. Loadouts are full builds consisting of masks, weapons, perks, aspects, gems, items, and lines, all on a single screen. They are our proudest achievement, opening up theory crafting of builds to everyone rather than only to the hardcore. The single screen and foolproof design means that anyone can conceptualize and come up with their own builds quickly and easily. Masks are powerful items dropped by enemies in an altar. There are over 30 masks that have their own combat effects and perk slots, changing not only how you play, but how you look, with aesthetic as well as narrative implications. Lines are our answer to spellcasting. 
We wanted to avoid playstyles that focus on passively slinging magic from afar while retaining the power fantasy. This is why every single loadout can have up to four lines, mighty magical abilities that are charged by dealing damage. The passive foundation for your character's growth and experimentation are the statistics that you can raise. While many of them are familiar, such as health, stamina, or damage, there are some new approaches taken in Anotria. First, damage is governed by separate stackable stats. Ones affecting raw damage, Ardora damage, as well as elemental. Second, statistics are grouped in bundles that we call virtues. This way, each virtue can raise your survivability, meaning the players no longer have to choose between safe statistics such as health and stamina and fun ones such as elemental damage or luck. Simply choose the virtue that embodies your playstyle best and unleash your creativity. Aspects are another key feature and item in an Altria. They allow you to channel the essence of particular foes. In practical terms, each loadout can have an aspect assigned, which can dramatically alter your statistics. This means that regardless of your stat distribution, through aspects you can experiment with new equipment, say a sword that you otherwise couldn't equip, and enables even greater diversity and specialization with loadouts. Gems are items that govern our parry ability. As we want to encourage a push-forward style of combat, we have made sure that the parry is responsive, chainable, and potent. However, we are aware that parrying is not everyone's preferred playstyle. That's why gems exist, allowing you to make the parry easier or harder and to change what it's best at in each loadout. Want a less potent but easier parry? Go ahead. Want to parry spells rather than physical blows? We have it covered. This system is another way that we are enabling players to choose their own comfort level and preference and experiment without the burden of a respec. Our Path of Innovators system, less of a skill tree and more of a skill pool, allows you to unlock new perks that can be slotted into masks to mix and match as you please. Never again feel like you wasted a point, as you never know when an older perk might become relevant again. Our Companion system, which contains all the lore of characters, enemies in the world as a whole, ties into this. Solve puzzles, uncover secrets, complete quests, and defeat enemies to unlock new lore entries and gain inspiration the currency used in the Path of Innovators. Completing entire sets of entries will give additional rewards that might surprise you, further rewarding exploration. We've now described what loadouts are and all the things you can do with them. However, where the system really shines is the ability for up to three loadouts to be swapped between at any moment. This allows you to wield multiple masks using the best build for each situation and to become a veritable Swiss army knife of experimentation. Each player, of course, is only as great as his equipment. In an Autry, you can upgrade weapons, masks, and lines. We made sure to be generous to offer a refund for a cost, to encourage experimentation in the earlier parts, but expect commitment if you want to bring your gear to its absolute limit. Throughout an Autry of the Last Song, exploration can take many forms. Beyond jumping, you also have access to the powers of Ardor, using them to alter weakened parts of the world. Our main example of this is Rifts, special portals that you can open to completely transform an area, reverting it by leaving its boundary. This enables more creative traversal, as well as a variety of puzzles and secrets. Mini Rifts, on the other hand, are the little brothers of Rifts. They're more localized and close on their own after a set duration, offering a more bite-sized traversal puzzle experience. Not every Rift is made the same, however. Combat Rifts hide challenging foes behind their ominous portals. Once opened, you cannot leave them until the enemies have fallen, or you have. Elements and status effects are another area where we've tried to add our own unique flair to the genre staples. Each element in Autria is designed to both buff and debuff you at the same time, enabling an entire playstyle around creatively utilizing them to your advantage. This, or Wine, is a special status that increases stamina regeneration and damage dealt while reducing defenses. While innocuous on its own, it can be a powerful boon, or a terrifying bane. Pato is the essence of undeath. This cursed spectral connection increases elemental damage significantly, but it also allows anyone to heal from damage dealt. An unreliable ally to mages, or a powerful curse for enemy warriors. It's up to you. Gratia is the holy healing power that comes from mysterious crystals. Gratia heals over time, However, any damage causes it to violently explode. For the swift, it is a free heal. For the reckless, it is an explosive end to their adventure. 
Malano is a horrific plague developed deep within the bowels of Latumia. It deals damage over time, however, its real danger is that it rapidly spreads to nearby entities. Should one acquire resistance to it, they could become a plague bearer of legend or lose control of it. Inotria boasts a large array of enemies designed to creatively challenge you and maintain variety across the vast areas. Each one of them, from their look to their behavior, are based on real-world myths, legends, and outfits from Italian history. For the history buffs among you, expect some familiar masks. Players should always keep a lookout, as many enemies have variants. These visually distinct, altered foes are often much stronger, can possess brand new moves and abilities. In total, expect to face over a hundred different enemies. There is also a wide array of bosses, large and small, in an Autry, from the mighty actors and their theatrical bravado, to the many elites and mini-bosses that lurk within optional paths and secret chambers. While Inotria is a gameplay-centered title, we have still put significant effort in ensuring we have an exciting and nuanced story that each player can engage with at their own pace. The main story of the game has been designed to be more straightforward, ensuring those that want to focus on it can march onwards to the final fight without frustration. Straightforward does not mean basic, however. You will meet many colorful characters, and Puccinella himself is a systemic and reactive NPC who will often have a word or two of encouragement or mockery, depending on your actions. Should you wish to delve deeper, however, there are a multitude of sites, NPCs, along with four old gods that you can find and recruit to the game's hub. Each god provides their own storyline and related quests. Complete all of the optional quests in Anotria, and perhaps you'll find that things are not as simple as you might have thought. The main story, alongside the optional content, culminate in multiple endings, based on the player's choices and the content they have found and completed.